everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn all about subtraction. And if you haven't seen my last video, I taught all about addition and we're going to be using the same strategies for subtraction. So we're going to use base 10 blocks and the standard algorithm. Let's dig in. All right, so first things first, we're gonna put this problem up here, and we're also gonna get the base 10 blocks going so that we can start solving this subtraction problem. So we're gonna be working with 568 minus 132. So we always wanna start in the smallest place value when we add or subtract. And so we can just start with those ones or those units that we have, and we start with eight, and we can use those base 10 blocks really easily to just take away two. So what do you have left once you take away two? Okay, great, six. And in our standard algorithm, eight minus two is six. So we'll just put that in the ones place. Then we just move over to the tens place. So look at those six longs and I want you to take away three. What do you get? Okay, great, three longs are left. So we'll put a three in that tens place. Then do the same thing with the hundreds place. So we have five flats and we just wanna take away one. What do you have left? Okay, great, four. So we have 436 as our answer. All right, now I wanna do a problem that has some regrouping in it since I know that's one of the biggest objectives with subtraction in third grade. So we need to try one where we need to regroup a little bit in order to do it. So I'll show you an example. We have 415 minus 132 and the base 10 blocks can help us figure that out. So we're gonna still start in the smallest place value. So what is five minus two? We can always take away two units. Okay, great, you got three. And so there's really no regrouping in that place. Let's move over and see what happens in the tens place. So we've got one long, but we wanna take away three longs. Oh, that's where we're gonna have a problem, huh? So we have a solution for that though. We can go over to the next biggest place value and we can do what I like to call a trade or regroup. So let's look over at those flats. If I took one of them, what can I break it up into that might help? Yeah, I can break it up into 10 longs. So I'm gonna make that trade really quick. Now I've got 11 longs. I can definitely take away three. So it just, it helps me because then I can subtract. And I'll show you the way it looks in the algorithm too right there. So now 11, let's take away three. How many do you have left? Okay, awesome, we have eight left. Okay, and then now, since I made that trade, I only have three flats left and I need to take away one more. So how many do I have after that? Okay, great, two. So I have 283 left. And those base 10 blocks helped me with my regrouping. Great job. All right, now I'm gonna give you one more problem to work on that has some regrouping in it. So be looking out for that. And I want you to decide how you wanna do this problem. Do you wanna use base 10 blocks? Do you want to just do the standard algorithm? You decide. And why don't you pause the video and then we'll come back and see if you got it right. All right. Here is your answer. See what you think. All right, thanks for watching today. I hope this helps you in your math class or at home, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.